my biggest discovery in Armenia has been discovering what it means to be Armenian. More specifically, however, I've discovered what it means to be Armenian to me. Because the biggest discovery at the heart of all this has been the discovery that there is no standard Armenian identity. And being Armenian is not something so concretely definable. In fact, being Armenian is something that is different for each and every person. And that's something that's not only OK, but beautiful and even necessary. The idea of the Armenian identity is one that is always talked about. And I don't think I'd be going so far to say that it's something that plagues very many Armenians, particularly those of us coming from the diaspora. I know it plagued me. And in conversation with some of my fellow birthrighters, I've realized that it's a question they too ask themselves, especially now as their identities are beginning to take definitive form and shape. I even took a year off from school to come to Armenia in an attempt to understand what it truly means. What does it mean to be Armenian? What makes someone Armenian? Growing up, being Armenian was defined as this hazy list of essentials. Speak Armenian, marry another Armenian, have Armenian babies, take those Armenian babies to Armenian church, be a Christian, speak to anyone willing to listen about the Armenian genocide and Turkish denialism. And one of the most important, be an active member of the Armenian community and support fellow Armenians. And while of course there's nothing inherently wrong with any of these ways of living and identifying, and in fact, many of these are very beautiful ways to live and identify, they have become, however, the strict definition of Armenianness. And with such a strict definition of Armenianness, there comes a certain difficulty in exploring and creating one's own individual identity within the context of the Armenian culture. With such a strict definition of Armenianness, one's identity is almost defined for him or her. And then, when there's any straying from this already decided upon narrative, there's risk of backlash. When I spoke about this with a fellow birth writer, she summed up this issue quite succinctly by saying, the Armenian community can be a lot to handle if you deviate from the norm. But what I've learned since coming to Armenia is that there really isn't a norm because there is more than one way to be Armenian. Being around Hayastansis or Armenians born and raised in Armenia has helped me to come to this realization. Because in the diaspora, to be Armenian, we have to constantly assert ourselves in our cultural identity in order to not be assimilated away. So we create and we employ these rigid definitions of Armenianness that we insist must be followed in order to put up this strong and unified image, in order to put up this Again, unified front. And then those of us who deviate from any of these definitions or from the start perhaps don't fulfill one of them, maybe we don't speak Armenian, maybe we're not Christian, are then not considered good Armenians or considered Armenian enough or perhaps not even considered Armenian at all by the Armenian community. And so in this way, to be an Armenian in the diaspora, you cannot simply just be. To a certain extent, your identity revolves and relies around the validation and acceptance of those around you. And that's stifling. It creates a very stagnant and narrow definition of culture and identity. It doesn't allow for progression or personal growth. And it becomes difficult to explore who you are as an Armenian, lest you do or say or believe something that is not accepted as Armenian. But to be an Armenian in Armenia is just to be. By essence of being born and living in Armenia, you are Armenian. Of course, one can be accused of many things, maybe not being patriotic enough, not being religious enough, being too outspoken, etc. But one is never really accused of not really being an Armenian. So being around high Sansis has been a very useful experience for me in understanding the nuances of Armenian identity because these Armenians feel a lot more secure in who they are and thus feel more comfortable deviating from these ideas of norms. For example, in Armenia, I've met Armenians who are Christian and I've met Armenians who are atheists. 
I've met Armenians who just call themselves Christian because it's easier and to a certain extent in Armenia, being Christian has become more of a cultural identification than a religious one. In Armenia, I've also met Armenians who've paid a bribe to not go to war. And I've met Armenians who've served their time, some even with pleasure. And I've even met diasporan Armenians who've enlisted to serve in Artsakh specifically, though there was no one telling them that they had to. In Armenia, I've discovered Armenians who believe the issue over Nagorno-Karabakh should just end right now, regardless of who wins. And I've met Armenians who feel very passionately about the outcome. I've met Armenians who hate Azeris. I've met Armenians who hate Turks. I've met Armenians who hate both Turks and Azeris. And I've met Armenians who don't have strong feelings towards either group of people. In Armenia, I've also met Armenians who want to leave this country, who feel there are no opportunities for them here, who feel stifled by the conservativeness of the nation. And I've met Armenians who could never imagine themselves anywhere else but in Mer Hayastan. And in every single one of these cases, every single one of these people are Armenian. They consider themselves Armenian. They're considered Armenian by their community members. And there is not a single one of these people who should not be considered so. So, at the end of the day, what makes someone Armenian if one's Armenian identity is so nuanced, self-determined, and self-defined? At its core, being Armenian, and indeed being any race or nationality, is simply about loving and caring about your fellow countrymen, your fellow Armenian. It's about speaking up when things are problematic, and it's about working to make what you believe are positive changes within your community because you love and care about your fellow Armenian and you want him to flourish and reach his potential. Being Armenian is simply wanting what's best for Armenians. It's about feeling an immediate kinship with someone just because he too identifies as Armenian, no matter that your definitions of Armenianness may be different. Because at the end of the day, we are all Armenian, period. And it is only upon recognizing that, along with the fact that it is only when we have and encourage our diversity in thought and action, that we can ever truly thrive as Armenians. Because it really is only then when we accept and celebrate and encourage all of our differences and all of our, diver our, di our diversities that we will ever truly have the space to grow, to innovate, and to prosper as an Armenian people. Thank you.